Okay, if you guys could just go ahead and look at the front. I've got tracing paper here. I've got, Leah has graciously given us her collage to take a look at. Now, one thing that Leah did really well is, everybody, can I get everybody's eyes up front pretty please? Let me just stop you right there. Everybody look this way. Everybody face forward. Okay. So one of the things that Leah did that's really smart is notice how the outside border, there's extra there. Does that make sense? Have any of you, any of you ever glued anything down? Anytime you have ever glued anything down, has it ever, ever been perfectly in exactly the right place that you want it? Like 99% of the time, it's a little bit skewed or it's a little bit off. So having a little bit of extra space here for you to glue it a little incorrectly is really wise. Does that make sense? That's called a bleed in the art world, giving a little bit of extra space around a design um, for a margin of error is called a bleed. You want that extra space, that bleed, okay? So what I've got here is I've got her design, I've got tracing paper, I've got um, carbon paper, and this right here is our collage packet. So if you go to the second page of your packet, we have been collecting our imagery. And right now, um, some of you are still doing four and five simultaneously. Today, what I'd like you to do is to get to the place where Leah is. Um, she's got her arrangement. So at this point, what she's going to do is she's going to lay her camera right on top, bring it straight up, get that perfectly inside of there, and then she will bring it to me. And I will check it out, and we will have words. We will say, do this or do that. What was some of the um, feedback that I gave you last time, Leah? Um, I think one was to add a little bit of white here because it was hard to see the transition, right? Yeah. So when she had originally shown it to me, see how it's kind of hard to see? So I was able to give her a little bit of feedback. And then what do we do with the yellow? We use like a, a tracing tool to get it really perfect. Um, so I'm able to give you a little bit of feedback at that point, okay? Once I give you a feedback and your composition is to both of our satisfaction, we both like it, it's now time to figure out how the body, the person's figure, is going to fit in to this page. So what you're going to want to do is very gently lay your tracing paper on top and just guesstimate about, and you can use, I can use my sense of touch here, I can feel where that ridge of that paper is. And it doesn't have to be perfect, perfect. You're just going to draw the major basic shapes and where it is. Does that make sense to everybody? So now I have the basic shape, the basic composition. And at this point, I can figure out how do I want to put a person's body in this picture. I can even use some of this leftover space to figure that out. So maybe one idea is to put the person like right here front and center. Does that make sense? I can put the person really big. It's on the rule of thirds. Think about your composition. Now in this composition, she's already got something right here. So maybe I put the person's head down here a little bit smaller. Or I could use that as like that circle. I could put the head right in front of it so it's framing the person. Or I think this is what we had kind of talked about and decided last time she was going to do. She could put, like, depending on what your secret is, she could put, like, a person actually in the moon. Does that make sense to everybody? So figure out how you want to compose and how big your person's going to be. Then when you get one, if this is the one that you want to do, you're going to start, whenever we learn how to draw, what's the first thing we start with when we're drawing? The this, the figure skeleton or the basic shape, right? Does anybody remember on a person's body where the middle is? What's the middle from top to bottom of your body? The middle of your body, if you cut yourself in half, will be the bottom of your hips. Okay, so you have your head, your chest, your pelvis, and then you have your legs on the bottom. Okay, so remember those proportions. This is kind of like a big reminder of what we've been learning. So if I want to put that girl in here, I'm just going to start with maybe figuring out. So if I go this way, then maybe, maybe that's that long. Okay, so maybe I'll cut that in half, put the knees right here, and I've kind of got the, the 
stick person figure of where the girl's going to go. Does that make sense? At this point, I'm doing a pretty good job. I've got the right size. I've got it in the right place. But does this look like a realistic human to any of you? No. Now, you can be a little bit stylistic with your human, but what I don't want is like any of this. You know what I mean? Like with like... Oh, sorry. I don't want people being drawn like super unproportionate. Now, if you want to draw a person, you want to make them a little bit longer and a little bit more willowy, like to be stylistic, I'm okay with that. But I do not want to see like cartoon figures. Okay, so at this point, what I'm going to do, oh, I just pulled it out, is I'm going to look online. I'm going to go on the internet. Oh, you guys are looking at my password. There we go. Uh, maybe. It could happen. So I'm just going to search up here, and I'm going to search. So we're looking at a silhouette. What does a silhouette mean? It's a side, ver like, yeah, the silhouette's the outside, but sorry, a profile was the word I was trying to say. So a woman's profi profile. Woman, woman. Profile um, sitting. Sure, let's see what we can find. Um, actually, that one's really great. The first one. Does that make sense? So I can use this now and actually do a good detailed drawing. Um, and I can change things a little bit. Now, once you get, let's just say, I'm not going to do a real good detail drawing right now, but let's say that I did do it and it was perfect. Everybody following me on this? Let's say that this is the perfect drawing of my dreams, whatever. Okay. And you can make it stylistic. Now, you can think about, you can change things too. Like maybe that's not the hairstyle you want. Maybe you want your hair to be a little bit more like this. Maybe you want her to be wearing a Victorian dress and it's like falling down off the moon. You can draw whatever you want to draw. Think about the style with which you draw it, but also think about the fashion that the person is wearing. Remember, to be school appropriate, they need to be covered from armpits to two inches below the butt. So that means no midriffs, no boobies, no pelvis, okay? Uh, well, they should have all those things, just covered. <laughs> all right, so at this point, let's say that I'm, I'm just right here on this piece of paper, I'm drawing it perfect. Can we all pretend that this is my perfect drawing? At this point, you need to change it from this scrap piece of paper onto a final piece of paper. Now, I have all kinds of cardstock over here. So, let's just say, I, someone used this last period, so I'm just going to use this so I don't waste. But remember, I've got a whole bin full of weird, cool um, papers. You could do it on encyclopedia. You could do it on a, a book, whatever. What I'm going to do is I'm going to slide inside of here the carbon paper and I would use a ballpoint pen for this so that you can tell what you have and haven't pressed hard down on, which I guess I need a ballpoint pen. And they're all right here by the pencil sharpener. And so remember this carbon paper when the black side's down, you don't have to press very hard. To leave a well that didn't leave much of a mark but if I use my fingernail it will so that left a mark right there that's very hard to see but it's there and so you will trace this and it doesn't even matter if your pen's working um, it just matters that whatever you draw you're pressing hard right there okay that was terrible but you guys get the point here is my drawing and so at this point it would have details and whatever else in it you can cut this out and it becomes a part of your collage that makes sense, everybody? Any questions? A really important step that a lot of people ignore is that stinking photo reference. How many of you know for a fact that you can draw better with a, with a reference in front of you? It is the truth. Can I get an amen? Amen. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Any questions? Anybody got a question? Did I miss anything? Serena? No? Did you have a question? Sid? It has to be the majority of your body. I want it at least from your hips up. I don't want like your toes only. I want like the, the main part of your body. Yes. 
Now, how you decide to do it is totally up to you. Like this drawing right here, I could decide to do like some killer ballpoint pen shading on here because you guys have learned how to do that. I could decide to just use a Sharpie pen and trace it um, and make it like I could make some lines a little bit thicker. I could give it like a style. You can get really cool with it. Does that make sense? You could take a pencil and shade it really great. That's up to you. But the pencil shading is going to look a little bit awkward with these hard black outlines from the carbon paper. But it's not the end of the world. Most lines, you have to have a dark side anyway and fade it out. So you could totally do something like that with it. Great question. Your, your creativity, whatever you want to use, is totally up to you. Any other questions? How many of you feel like you totally understand what's going on and you're just ready to do it? Okay. How many of you feel like I'm just going to wait and ask the person next to me and see what they're doing and then I'll follow along? How many of you feel like you're lost in the wilderness and you're like, what are scissors? All right. Then let's do it.